Hi guys, Apple has just released iOS 16.0.3 and watchOS 9.0.2. So, while the update is downloading, let's check out the bug fixes. There are four of them highlighted in the release notes, along with a security update for the mail app that you can review over here. Okay, just about one minute remaining. In the meantime, let me show you what you do if iOS 16.0.3 doesn't show up on your iPhone. If you get iOS 15.7 is up to date, just tap on upgrade to iOS 16 available at the bottom of the screen and follow the usual steps. Also, if you get an iOS 16.1 beta instead, you have to delete the iOS 16 beta profile from settings in VPN and device management, remove profile. Okay, getting back to our software update. Uh, it's preparing iPhone. Okay, the download has completed. I'm tapping install now. Update is verified and iPhone will restart at the end of the update process. I have to uh, bring in my passcode and now let's check in settings general about you can see iOS 16.0.3 has been installed next up i recommend you to open the watch app on the paired iphone go for general software update and also update your apple watch to watch os 9.0.2 for more details regarding these updates please visit iphonetricks.org link available in this video's description and check out uh, the common bugs reported by our readers until now we have a report about haptics that stopped working on an iphone after the update but it has been easily fixed with a force restart volume up volume down and side button combo another reader reported that keyboard dictation has stopped working on his device i'm testing it now Testing out keyboard dictation. It seems to work. Another user reported that its iPhone Pro entered the data recovery mode. If this happens, don't panic. Just allow it to finish and you should be fine. If you experience any other problems after updating to iOS 16.0.3, don't hesitate to use the comment section of this video or of iphonetricks.org to report your issue. We are here to help. And it's also good to know that in the worst case scenario, you can still downgrade to iOS 15.7, which is currently signed as shown above. Hope this video was useful to you. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe.